when you think of AI based uh, inspection, visual inspection, one can think of two scenarios. One video based inspection, the other one being image based inspection. But what really is the difference between the two? Are they the same? Are they very similar but not exactly the same? Or are they completely different? Hi. I'm Raghava Kashripa, CEO of Qualitas Technologies, and here I'm going to break down a little bit the difference between a video-based inspection system and an image-based inspection system as pertaining to AI or deep learning. So before we talk about inspecting videos or images, let's look at you know, what an image is or what is an, um, a video, right? Um, a video is nothing but a sequence of images that are encoded together which uh, display in a sequential manner. So it has, it's not just one frame but it's a sequence of frames that are stitched together and optimally encoded so that it's um, optimized in terms of the size. But it has a series of frames which are in uh, a fixed and predictable amount of time displaying in front of you. So when you see it, you know, in a fast enough way, it looks like a motion based view, but it's actually, you know, still images which are being just presented in front of you in a very um, fast um, frame sequence. So an image on the other hand, you know, is just a still image. So it's one frame taken from a camera. So when you're talking about inspecting either a video or an image, the underlying uh, inspection that you're doing is going to be on a single frame. So be it a video or be it on an image. So that's where the similarity ends. The only, the difference however, is the technology that is being used. So if you have to, you know, break down each of the frames within an image and then do them sequentially, just like you would one image at a time, your um, performance, it's not going to be as optimal in terms of performance. So smart video based um, inspection algorithms, they use what is um, known as differential um, uh, and, and, and similar features between frames and operate against those differences and similarities. So when you're doing some inspection, you would mostly you know, look for what changed between one frame and the other. So let's say you're doing an object tracking, which is moving across a video or a person that's moving across a video. You would track a specific object and then the next frame look for what is different. So the background and everything would be the same, but only the object would be moving. So then it would take advantage of that similarity and difference and optimize your object detection for the next frame. Whereas in an image, it's pretty much going to be independently processed each individual frame at a time. But the underlying algorithms that you would use with uh, using deep learning algorithms, for instance, would be, you know, standard deep learning algorithms like object detection, semantic segmentation, etc. So another difference is, you know, usually with image based acquisition, there is a, going to be an element of a trigger. So you would know, you would need to um, inform the camera when to acquire an image. So with video based inspection system, you, you don't have a trigger. You would just, it would be persistently on, it's capturing these videos and then in the background or offline, it would be processing that video to identify any kind of uh, inspection uh, parameter that you want to automate using AI. Whereas in an image based inspection system, you would need to synchronize this with some form of a trigger. So even though the camera is trained on, let's say a moving assembly line, you would capture that image when the part comes in front of the camera. So you'd have a trigger, the trigger would then activate this camera, the camera would grab, grab an image and then the software would then do the processing. So that's usually the sequence of events. But if you're doing video based inspection, you would just have the camera which is taking pictures, you know, persistently, it's, it's always on. And you know, as it's moving, you would have an algorithm that then identifies the part that's in front of the camera and then identify uh, the state where there is no part in front of the camera. So that differentiation has to be then built into the, uh, the software. And then in you know, a subsequent inspection uh, has to be done. So those are the main differences for, you know, wherever image based inspection is suitable, it's probably a lot easier because it's more performant, it's inspecting one frame. 
but it does come with you know having to uh, trigger the camera so you would need some kind of a signal to indicate to capture that image whereas videos a lot easier to set up you could just use a surveillance camera but then the algorithms are going to be also a little bit more um, involved in terms of um, or, or even limited in terms of what you could do in terms of precision inspection so hope this video is useful thank you